Tony Sands and Professor TJ and her sister Nelly Welly. And today we have an interesting experiment for you. But first, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. But before we start, let us tell you something about this experiment. This quick experiment only requires a can of soda and can be completed in approximately 30 seconds. Even if we all know that carbonated beverages are bad for us, we can at least conduct an experiment to discover why things balance. For this experiment, you will need an empty can of soda, water, and a measuring cylinder. And remember kids, always have an adult present as you're doing this experiment. Safety first! All the time. Okay. So Nelly, ready? Yes. Ready to start? Uh-huh. So we're going to take our can, mm -hmm. and here's our can, and place it. And you see the capacity of the can is 330 ml. Yeah. That's how much the can can carry, that's how much soda was in here before. Then we take some of our water and pour it into a measuring cylinder. And we're going to take a third of the amount of water that will be needed to fill our can, mm -hmm. which is about a hundred yeah. Or oh, one ten, if you want to be extra precise, yeah. So we'll take this water and pour it into the tin. The spreading of weight is the key to everything. Although the can is tilting to one side and appears to be about to go over, only the bottom third of the can is actually filled with water. The point of contact with the table serves as the pivot point for the can, which is also being twisted over and pulled back in equal measure. The can only appears to be falling because it leans more to one side. But considering that it is empty, there is actually very little weight there. I hope we at home are able to do this experiment. This is all we have for you today. See you next time on Funky Science. Bye!